Hey everyone, it's Fern and Frank with Java Walker World and this week we are doing some landscaping so come and join us. We are Frank and Fern with Java Walker World. Join us on our journey to quench your thirst for the simple pleasure of a good coffee and explore our magnificent world one step at a time. Here we are another week on YouTube and we are en route to our cabin in New Brunswick. But before heading to our cabin, which is near Campbellton, New Brunswick, we're going to stop off in a small city called Edmonston, New Brunswick. Let's take a look. We really enjoyed this and I think you'll like it as well. Let's take a look at what this city has to offer. What a lovely city, full of art and nature, beautiful river, very clean and tidy. We really enjoyed Edmonston, New Brunswick. Hello everyone, another great day in the world of Java Walker World. Hi everyone, welcome to Java Walker World. We've got a lot of work to do this week, so come and join us. Now Frank is just playing with the machine. <laughs> so this is our attempt of having um, the building, the house, high and dry uh, and weed free because whipper snipping or line trimming along that can break the siding. So hopefully we can manage that okay. Frank just loves working it with the bobcat. I swear if he had a choice of doing a second career, this would be it. <laughs> Um, but anyways, lots of fun. And that right there, if you're wondering what that is, that's our well. Uh, so it's a drilled well and it goes uh, fairly deep down there. The water quality has been excellent. Uh, there's no farming here. It's just nature. It's just trees, lots of rock. Uh, so, you know, rain, uh, water that goes into the creeks and under uh, the water table. Um, there is a lot of iron in the water you can tell by the color uh, a filter an iron filter on and uh, the water comes out pretty clear so it's very good and iron is not necessarily a bad thing to drink it's minerals um, but too much of course would not be good as well so we've had it tested and everything looks okay it's safe to drink Ooh, we're headed back now uh, sweating like crazy. It's supposed to be a real hot one. We're expecting a lot of rain today. Uh, it'll be later today. So let's see if we can get this fire pit ready.
time for some lunch. There's still more to do. Got to finish leveling off that soil pile there. Because actually tomorrow they're calling for rain. So if we leave for tomorrow, we're going to be doing this in the mud and it ain't going to be too much fun. So we're going to try and do uh, the most of it today or uh, the rest of it if we can. It's now yeah, the, it's the a little days bit are less. getting a little shorter. It's a little um, but anyway, it's... Uh, Alright, but should, we'll be able to work until about 8.30. Very, very Maybe very close lovely. to 9. Hopefully finish this off and just leave uh, some little straggly things for tomorrow. Yeah. Avoid like the rain. The finishing uh, touches will happen uh, tomorrow or, you know, I don't know. It's, it's all hand uh, raking yeah. and stuff like that just to level things off and it is way too hot in oh, the season uh, to put down grass seed but we need to get this done and as soon as the temperatures start to cool off we will be applying some grass seed and forget about it until spring <laughs> but the machine has made a big difference because if we had to hand bomb this all these uh, two loads of 15 tons of gravel and uh, uh, the soil, I think probably about 8 yards or some of that or 10 yards of soil, so that would have been a, a doozy. But the machine's come in handy, it's been fun playing a few, a few brain farts there <laughs> with the bucket and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but all is good, I'm still here, we'll see. It's, it's all about training your brain on the functions of... Uh, what goes up, what goes down, what goes left, what goes right, yeah, what, what goes pedal up must come down. <laughs> it's quite a, a challenge. But it's been well. good, so we'll uh, we'll show you the process and we'll show you the finished product and let us know what you think. Yeah. If it turned out pretty good or not. If uh, it's a lot of fun, we could get a contractor to do this. It would cost oh, thousands yeah. and thousands oh, yeah. of dollars. Instead. You know, we spent a few hundred, a little bit more than a few hundred dollars, and uh, you know, it will be less than perfect. But sometimes you get contractors, and it's less than perfect oh, as well. Skid has been in handy uh, with delivery fees and all that stuff. It's going to be about uh, four and a quarter or something like that. But I have it for the whole weekend, and they're picking it up on Monday, so. I pretty much get uh, the whole weekend of it, and I'm only paying for eight hours. So, yeah. and then we got two loads of gravel, two loads of gravel, and one and one load of uh, um, topsoil. topsoil, and that's what five tons or what is it, fifteen tons? Fifteen tons of gravel, and they're actually Each. reasonable. Uh, one hundred and fifty for the uh, ten dollars a ton. So yeah, so one hundred and fifty bucks for uh, fifteen tons of gravel. So that's not too bad. Yeah, it's it's doable, but at least it gives us a clean driveway, not mud. Uh, a little less weeds around, we can uh, contain grass area that we can control, not just grass or weeds everywhere. And uh, a couple of gardens, some sitting areas, make it relaxing and enjoyable. So uh, like I said, keep following along, see the process, and let, let us know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. I know it's not Christmas, but you can give it as a gift. Subscribe, but, uh, comment, comment, or share. Or share and uh, subscribe. And it would, yeah, it would mean so much to us uh, because yeah. you know we're trying very hard to get monetized and we're still not there. So we need uh, quite a few more subscribers. Yeah. So tell your friends, tell we, your, tell your got, kids, tell your dogs, yeah. tell your animals, tell your vet, tell your doctor, tell your nurse. Yeah, we've got the um, the watch hours. We just don't have the subscribers. So, so get the word out there, people. Get the word out. We really appreciate. Look like somebody from <laughs> the beach combers with my little hat. Uh, my hair is a mess and it's long and it's just flying around. I tie it up and it just flies around and so what the hell? <laughs> I just put on a cap and it's like uh, we had a uh, a heat warning uh, alert today here for this area. And what do I do? I put on a a I want to say a toque. <laughs> Just like uh, the people from Maritime, so here we are. Lunch is over, let's get back to work. We have some columbine growing there. Um, so I saw it in the springtime and it was absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. We've butchered it a bit under with doing all this work, but uh, I'm keeping that going. And there's some chives there, so um, we're going to keep that going. We've got a burn pile going on over there uh, with wood and trees that have fallen into the pond and we pulled all that out and uh, we've been, um, I don't know if you can see the logging trail that goes through there. Um, we uh, line trimmed all of that and um, 
think we've got probably a couple of miles of uh, logging trails there uh, that we have access to. Good morning. Frank's been working on this little project, uh, putting up a house number uh, that he put together on a pine board, stained it, and uh, while we were in Florida, we picked up these uh, numbers and uh, attached them, painted them and attached them uh, to the board. We think it looks pretty nice. Um, our civic number, uh, 911 number, our emergency number, of the house is uh, has been ordered and is uh, going to be put at the roadside uh, in case of an emergency but I think uh, this house number right on the house looks pretty good Frank put uh, you know some solar lights next week we're headed to Moncton New Brunswick New Brunswick's largest city. Here is a sneak peek of next week's video. But we did it again. We bought an island this time, sight unseen, and it's in the Moncton area. Of course, we'll tour Moncton as well. We're jaywalking, sorry. Are you kidding? There we go. We caught it. There we go. Oh, geez, look at that. And look at the way the look, tide. Oh, look how, look how it rose. It rose. Look how how high the water levels got. It's going to hide the whole end of the, uh, the dirt, that side yeah, of Yeah, the tide was really, really low. Holy and holy. now, just like that, in a split second. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool.